Five Fans blog. One of the things that I feel responsible to do as a blogger is to push the cube, to see what the cube can and cannot do. Uh, it's one thing to print out things that I know it can do and it will be absolutely beautiful and quite another to pick objects that will really stress the cube, to make it really work hard. And in this case I wanted to see if the cube could print a really complex object like this. I downloaded this from Thingiverse and it's a mathematic vase, it's very complex, really meant to be printed on a a powder type of printer. Uh, it's not really meant to be printed on an extrusion pr uh, printer like the cube, but I thought I'd give it a shot. One of the features that it has is this straight line right through here, right in there. See that? Those are straight. I wanted to see if the cube could bridge that uh, and print this without supports. It turns out that the design does not allow that, but I'm going to show you that. Uh, now let's go in and see how I printed it with supports. Okay, I'm just going to step through a few images, not many, just a few. And you'll see that I've, I'm printing it with supports. You can barely see the piece right back in here. But as we go through, you'll see it come up. And now you see the, the support here. Now this is very interesting. Look at the way this support is designed. See these little teeth? That makes the support in from the cube very, very easy to remove. Those of you who have other 3D printers will recognize that this is a very nice strategy for support. Makes it very easy to remove compared to the other kinds of support that are out there. Let's continue on. Now you'll see it is building the complex shape very, very well. All right, we'll go on more. And now we start. Now you notice that it doesn't need support up in here. It does use support in these holes, and those are very easily cleaned out. And that pretty much uh, finishes our object. So now I want to show you the object uh, as it was printed, as all of the uh, supports were taken off. The support was relatively easy to remove. And I'm going to show you two things. The first thing I'm going to show you is the object itself without supports until it failed. And the reason it failed is because of these straight lines right here. Design has everything to do with whether or not you need supports. Now after seeing this, I want to show you the object that, that I printed with support. I think it did a great job. I hope you do too.